pieces for my macaroni. But now two of them is almost the same because I got extra sharp and I got sharp cheddar. Then I got Kobe Jack and I got Kobe. I have mild cheddar, I have cheese milk, cream cheese, and college cheese. So two of them I'm going to take away. I'm going to take away the extra sharp and I'm trying to decide between the Kobe Jack and the Kobe. I think I'll take away the Kobe and leave the Kobe Jack. That way I have two more different cheeses. Okay. I got one, this is three, four, five, six, seven cheeses that I will be putting in my macaroni. Seven different cheeses. Okay. That's what I'll be using. Okay, guys, I got my cheese all cut up. I got my different kind of cheeses. This is butter. I got my macaroni cooked. Now what I'm going to do is take an egg. Oh, yeah, and my college cheese. I'm going to mix everything together in a pot first. And then I'm going to take and put some cheese on top and bake it. I will show you as I go along. I have put the macaroni in the pot and a little bit of water because I'm lactose intolerant and I don't want to use too much milk. So I'm going to let the butter melt and then I'm going to start adding my cheeses. Okay, I have added my cream cheese, my college cheese, and my Kobe and Jack cheese. Now next I'm going to add my other two cheeses and my egg and I will put it in the oven and let it bake. This is how I put my cheese on, my little cheese squares before I put it in the oven. Now I'm going to put it in the oven and let it bake. I have added my egg and everything. Everything is all mixed together. I'm going to let it bake. And then I let it bake until it started bubbling just a little bit. Guys, I just wanted to show you how it's bubbling a little bit. And that is how you want it to be when you take it out. You don't want it overcooked. You want it just bubbling a little bit. You don't want it too brown. I also want to show you guys my crab cakes and my stuffed uh, clams. That I am baking to go with my seafood face. I love to have a whole lot of different appetizers and things when I have a little seafood feast. The mac and cheese is ready. Now I have to cool it down. Just let it sit there and finish simmering for a few minutes until it's time to eat. Okay, now I'm boiling my water for my crab legs. I put a whole onion in there, two pieces of garlic, some crushed red pepper, a whole teaspoon of crushed red pepper, and my seasoning mix that I had left over, some of this. I put two teaspoons of this in there. And now I'm going to let it start back boiling. And then I'm going to drop my crab legs in there. Okay, I'm going to drop the rest of my crab legs in here. And 
and I have one lobster tail. I'm cooking that so that I can make some, um, what you call it, gumbo. Yeah, I'm gonna use that lobster tail to make me some gumbo. That's how it looks when you brush it on there. This is how I look in the container when it is marinating. I'm going to put the top on it, set it back in the refrigerator, and let it set for about an hour before I cook it. Now it's time to fry the fish. I already put two of these scoopers of flour in here. Now I'm going to put two scoops. I'm going to start off with one scoop of white cornmeal. One scoop of yellow cornmeal, and then I'm going to mix that up and see how that is before I put another scoop in there. Okay, I think I'll do another scoop of yellow cornmeal. So it's hard to tell about the white cornmeal, just mix in with the flour. So I'll put another scoop of yellow cornmeal in there and see how that feels. Okay, I like to pull my fish from the bottom first and put that in the cornmeal and the flour mix because that have more seasoning in it and it's been soaking much much better you see the juices so it's soaking in the juices so I like to fry that first to get all the flavor in the grease here's my fish after I have put the cornmeal on it I'm waiting for my grease to get hot and then we'll be cooking Got the fish in the fryer and the air going to cool me off. Fish should be done pretty soon. Okay guys, I'm almost finished cooking the fish. This is my last three pieces. I have two bags of fish. I only got 12 pieces of fish. Just put the last piece in the skillet. And when these three pieces get done, I will be through cooking. Okay, <clears throat> okay, guys, now it's time to bake your butter sauce. You want to take a look. Worcestershire sauce and butter. You put a little of that in there. You want to take some hot sauce, any kind that you choose, any kind of hot sauce that you choose of your choice. Put some of that in there. Spice it up. A little bit of rosemary. A little bit more rosemary than that. I'm almost out of rosemary. The rosemary gives it a good flavor. Now you want to take the rest of that seasoning mix and pour all of that in. And you want to stir it up. Cook it up. That's how you make your butter sauce. You can make it a little bit more spicy if you want to. Okay guys, so we have our crab legs ready, we have our butter sauce, we have our mac and cheese, we have our fish, crab cakes, and our clams, and we have our pink sign. So, that's our seafood dish for today. Thank you for joining me. Peace. Love you. Like, share, and subscribe.